update, uh, update concerning local news. The people who bring you stories like this. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. Holy shit! Either he needed to put a space between Dana's whereabouts and his first story, or someone was pretty pissed off that they weren't invited to Dana's birthday party. <laughs> Now, last year, we told you about Sinclair Broadcast Group, a company which, if their acquisition of Tribune Media is approved, could soon own local stations reaching 72% of TV households. And in that story, we talked about uh, Sinclair's must-runs. Those are, are stories that station managers are forced to include in their broadcasts, which often skew noticeably conservative. And those must-runs are still very much happening, featuring everything from an investigation into the quote-unquote deep state that's undermining President Trump, to regular batshit commentaries from former Trump aide Boris Epstein, who, incidentally, is 35 years old. Now, we don't have time to get into that. <laughs> Suffice to say, he is the same age as Nicki Minaj, while somehow looking like Jon Favreau's father. It doesn't make sense, <laughs> but there isn't time. The point is, Boris carries a lot of water for this president. Remember when Trump called African countries shitholes? Well, this was Boris's hot take. Media outlets such as CNN are cursing up a storm. Not only are the anchors on the networks cursing left and right using the word, it has been written in bold letters across their screens. President Trump said the word once in a private meeting. How is it okay to repeat it and splash it on the screen hundreds of times? I believe that makes no sense. Okay, hold on. First of all, what the fuck was up with that Zoom? <laughs> he, he's like the dramatic chipmunk of disingenuous <laughs> bullshit. But second, People were not upset that Trump used a bad word. They were upset that he used his racist brain and mouth. If Trump had called Haiti, El Salvador and Africa fucking dope-ass places from which we should totally welcome a shit ton of motherfucking immigrants, I don't think anyone would have been offended by his vulgarity. But recently, Sinclair took their game to a new level. Because a few weeks back, a script leaked for a statement they wanted local anchors to deliver, warning that national media outlets were publishing fake stories, which was echoing one of Trump's favourite talking points, or more commonly, screaming points. And here is just a taste. We are concerned about the troubling trend of irresponsible one-sided news stories plaguing our country. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Yeah, it can be dangerous when members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda, like when Boris tries to convince you that Trump is a good president, or when I try to convince you that the only way Boris Epstein was born 35 years ago is if he came out of the womb at age 23. <laughs> there isn't time. It doesn't make sense, but there isn't time. Now, now, some Sinclair anchors complained to the press, saying, this is so manipulative and I felt like a prisoner of war recording a message. And I will, so, I will say, I don't know that woman from before, but just look at her eyes when her co-anchor is talking. She looks like she'd rather be murdered and set on fire while celebrating her birthday. And that statement is creepy enough, but when you see just how many local stations were forced to read it and you watch them together, as many have been doing online in the last couple of days, you begin to realise the true effect of Sinclair's reach and power. Unfortunately, some members of the media... Some members of the media... Some members of the media... Some, some members, members of the media, media use their, their platforms to, to push their, their own personal bias. bias. To push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing says we value independent media like dozens of reporters forced to repeat the same message over and over again like members of a brainwashed cult. I guess, I guess what I'm saying here, Sinclair, is that as a news organisation, I believe you make no sense. 